Heidi ho friends and neighbors. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Today I'm going to have uh, an update on a kit I've been working on for a while and uh, I haven't posted anything because of different reasons. Working on group builds, working on the uh, Plastic Models for Beginners series and stuff like that and just because I wanted to uh, monkey around with uh, some paint a little bit. <clears throat> So, today, you're going to get to see some of my work on the Edward BF109E4 that I'm doing in Franz von Vera's colors. So this is it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's kind of shiny in spots because uh, I just put a gloss coat on it so I can start... Um, uh, I'm going to apply the decals and uh, then I'm going to um, start working on the weathering and stuff. But as you can see, I did a little bit of chipping. I, I didn't go too heavily on it. Um, I'm still working on the chipping and I don't want to get too crazy with it. But I did try a little bit. This is the first time I've tried it on an aircraft kit. And uh, I think on future builds, it's, it's really going to be something that's going to work out pretty nice. Um, but, uh, you know, there it is, the BF-109 E4. Um, now, as far as the Edward kit goes, um, I really like the Edward kit. Um, it goes together really well, and, um, you know, as long as you pay attention to the instructions, especially whenever you're doing the engine part um, it works out really nice um, I think the mistakes some people make is they build the engine according to the instructions without reading some of the optional stuff and they build up the whole engine and then when they put it in none of this cowling uh, will fit on here correctly um, and the reason for that is um, the uh, you're supposed to leave parts off of the engine if you're going to put the cowling in place. You still do the engine, the motor, because you know you have to have a place for the prop and you know all that kind of in the exhaust and that kind of stuff. But you just don't um, you don't uh, glue all the parts onto the engine. So that's just something to pay attention to. And I, and I mentioned that in one of the earlier videos. Uh, but it's going together really nice. I like it. It's worked really well. Um, like I say, I got the gloss on here. I'm ready to do some uh, decals and once I put the decals on I think I'm going to put another nice heavy coat of gloss on it so I can start weathering because I am going to be using for the first time um, some of the uh, ultimate weathering wash. Um, I'm going to check the colors and make sure that there are colors that will be appropriate for this but this is supposed to be some pretty good stuff. Um, you know, I may try it on here. I may not. I'm going to monkey around with it on something else and see how it works. And if it looks like the colors will be okay uh, for what I'm wanting to do, then I will, um, I'll do it. I'll go ahead and, and try it on here. Otherwise, I'll just use my traditional washes. But I'll put the decals on, another gloss coat, and uh, then I can move forward with it. So. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you a really quick update. I'd mentioned it in, a, in an earlier video and somebody had remarked that they would like to see some uh, progress on it and see an update. So that's what I did for whoever that was. It's been so long ago I can't remember who it was. But, uh, you know, I'm just I'm digging it. I like it. And I think it's going to be turn out okay. You know, I mean, I'm not the best with aircraft models because there's a lot of stuff that I need to learn about weathering aircraft and all that kind of stuff and you know this is a good test bed for future projects and it'll still turn out decent I think so anyway that is the uh, Edward BF 109 E4 Von Vera's colors and uh, I'll post more updates as they come around um, hopefully tonight I'll get to start working on decals and and tomorrow I'll get some gloss on it. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for uh, joining me again on Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. And uh, as always, comments, questions below. And I will see you guys next time.